Hi, I'm Debbie Ellickson and I'm located in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Is the internet a right or a privilege? This is a discussion I've had in the past with a lawyer and his take on it was quite interesting because in some ways it is a right for particularly for citizens that live in what you would call a free society or a democratic society and on this at the same time it is a privilege because regardless of where we get our internet access from we get it from a service provider and the service provider is a company that has rules and regulations and they deliver the service for one reason and one reason only and that's to make money so because the internet is becoming more and more of our daily lives it is something that we we have to use to communicate to work to almost to breathe with and so companies do tend to seem to be getting a little greedy as to what they want to provide. Lately we've seen lots of arguments in our House of Commons and other other countries like the United States and Britain with regards to how much control the government should have on the internet access and how much latitude they would give companies or service providers uh, reign to kind of control it. So where we've seen probably one of the strongest arguments was evolved around the company Netflix because Netflix uh, charges its users a monthly fee to access videos, uh, movies, and, and television shows. But because the cable companies in Canada and the US actually own the internet uh, access, they, they're the ones, and some of the telephone companies, they provide the access to the internet. They want to charge Netflix more, or they want to do this, or they want access to their, their uh, membership lists. Uh, so it's a big, big question out there. I'm not sure if there's any simple answers, but it is a good argument to have. And I think as citizens, we need to stand up to make sure that we have uh, a good access to the internet because without it, we can't function.